thinking about going to Cachada. Hang on, man. I'm looking at the flyer. They give you a full book. Look at that. All business, right? There we go. Robert, come to Cachada. We love you. We we love your money also. Okay. Yeah. All right. As long as you love me, we're good. Okay. I may do that. I may go to Cachada. Let's go live. There we go, ready for the world. Good morning, Double R Radio, 927 in the morning, uh, Wednesday morning. Do not forget, Friday morning on my morning show, we're putting the spotlight on the year 1978. Compliments of my sponsor, Rosemary Gomez. That's going to be happening Friday morning. We're going to take you back in time to the year 1978. Anyways, it is time for question of the day. But before we get to question of the day, um, got a couple of stories for you guys here, man. This is some crazy stuff. Where do I want to go first? Let's go with this. Check this out. A Phoenix woman is accused of stalking a man met on a dating site and sending him more than 65,000 text messages apparently sent more than twice as many. Um, let me see here. <coughs> um, doom, doom, doom. Um, the woman sent a man more than 159,000 text messages some were threatening over the course of nearly 10 months. Wow! Anyways, according to the police records, the Arizona Republic uh, obtained the public records. And now, this woman, um, um, <laughs> obviously the woman was so infatuated with this guy, one of the text messages read, I'm going to make sushi out of your kidneys and chopsticks. Out of your hand bones. Ah, cabron! Man, that's love right there, man. If a woman were to tell me, Pinche Robert Desgraciado, I'm going to make sushi out of your kidneys and chopsticks out of your hand bones, I'm going to go, been nice meeting you. Have a great life. Adios. How crazy is that? You know, got to be careful nowadays. I don't care if you're a guy or a girl. There's a lot of weird people out there. There really, really are. Now... Another story, check this out. Two homeless men have been charged with burglary after a California man said he came home to find them cooking dinner in his kitchen. Um, <coughs> the homeowner came home and uh, found two men cooking dinner and uh, the guy told the homeowner, hey, would you like some? And uh, well, the guy called the cops and uh, threw the guys in jail. How, I mean, I do not understand burglars nowadays that want to go into a house. You know, I don't condone it. If you're going to break into a place, take whatever you're going to take and get the hell out of Dodge. But nowadays, burglars want to take a nap, take a shower, you know, feed the dog, uh, cook dinner, stuff like that, man. These are some weird burglars. They really, really are. Good morning, child. I got out to Connie Villarreal. Juan A. Gonzalez. Good morning, Michelle Cohen. Good morning, Michelle. How are we doing? Uh, let's see here. Mary Rivas. Good morning, Mary. How we doing? Prima Irene Gayona. Good morning, Prima. Angie Moreno. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Anyways, I tell you what. Um, I am feeling better. I'm trying to feel better. I've been congested, man. It's been terrible. But slowly but surely, I'm feeling better. Connie Villarreal. Good morning. Andrea Guadalupe Rios. Good morning. Rene Guevara. Good morning. Juanita Rosales. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let me get to my question of the day. You know that um, back in the day, back, 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 back in the day, Go back to your, we'll go with elementary, junior high, high school. Good morning, shout out to DJ Edward Castillo. Good morning, Edward. Anyways, go back to that time and think about when you would have to go eat lunch in the cafeteria. Do you remember when there were some days better than other days to eat your papa? Right? You look at, remember they would give you a calendar? You go, okay, Monday, Salisbury steak, Tuesday, spaghetti, Wednesday, enchiladas, Thursday, whatever. I got to tell you, man. I used to love Wednesdays at my junior high, high school, because they would serve enchiladas. I used to love school enchiladas. They were excellent. They really, really were. I don't know how they are today, but back in the day, school enchiladas were awesome. So, my question of the day, what was your favorite day to eat at your school cafeteria? Good morning, Chara Galata. Mercy, Perez, Delgado, buenos dias. Anyway, you really think about it, because... I mean, pizza was okay at school, at the cafeteria. The pizza was all right. Um, I remember 
some some days I would be so hungry, really, man. And that's all I had was, was on the tray. I hated green beans. I wanted nothing to do with green beans. But in the words of my dad, con el hambre se come todo, which means with an appetite, when you're hungry, you'll eat everything. And he's right because I, although I didn't care for them, I would eat the green beans, man, because I wanted to fill up. I really, really did. Good morning, shout out to Juanita Rosales. Brian Texas in the house. Haven't been to Brian in a long time. Good morning. So anyway, send it over to Robert Reeves in the radio group page right now. And answer me, pregunta por favor. Think back to your school days. What was your favorite day in the cafeteria when they were serving whatever they were going to serve? I can remember the hamburgers were pretty decent. And then, um, what else? Spaghetti was pretty good. Um, what I used to love from school was the peanut butter cookies. Oh, man. The peanut butter cookies were BAM! Also, the cornbread. The cornbread at school, it was always yellow, 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 yellow. And good, 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 man. And big and thick. Eh, we're not going to go there. But anyways, um, you're probably going, Robert, you took your flu shot. Are you feeling better? I can't feel better with the flu shot. The flu shot is for anything else that's going to happen to me um, with the cold and flu, whatever, for the next two or three months. So, look, I, I, I don't want to go through this no more. What I'm going to do, I'm not saying it's going to be the answer, but from here on out, my New Year's resolution is going to be each and every time it's time to take your flu shot, I'm going to go take my flu shot, man. I would rather take my chances with a flu shot than without one because this stuff that I've been going through for a couple of weeks, man, it's been horrendous. I'm, I'm, and I'm not lying either, man. It really, really has. I mean, I've taken Dayquil, NyQuil, uh, Mucinex, Viagra. I've taken it all. Everything to try to feel better. And um, although it seems to be working, it's a process. It just doesn't happen overnight. And um, like I said, a lot of soda, not really a lot of soda, a lot of water, a lot of Gatorade, and a lot of porn. You know, anything to make me feel better. And, uh, well, like I said, it's a process. Slowly but surely, we're going to get there. Good morning, shout out good to my sponsor, Rosemary Gomez, who's taking us back to the year 1978, Friday morning. Antonia Villadreal. Good morning, blessings as well. Anyways, um, Prima says, Vix. You know, Vix, I remember when Vix had that little nasal deal. You stick that thing up your nose. And you'd breathe in that whatever stuff that would come out of it. Remember that stuff? Really, man, it would go up your nose and come out your butt. You know, something like that. Really, man, sometimes I would take that Vicks thing and breathe it in. And about 10 minutes later, I'd kind of fart and it'd be nice and cool. And i go, man, this Vicks is pretty cool. It really is. Anyways, head on over to Robert Reavers on the radio group page right now. And answer me, pregunta por favor. When going to school, what was your favorite? Um day at the cafeteria when it would be serving food. I need to get myself situated here. Um, and there we go. Let's get back to the morning show. I gotta pay a bill here. Then from there we'll get back to some music. Good morning. Thank you for waking up with me. Double R Radio. There we go. Anyways, got about uh, another 25 more minutes before the show's over. Log on right now and join me. It's not too late. www.robertrevisradio.com Join me now.